For any business, engaging with the community matters and can have far-reaching benefits, not only for the surrounding neighborhood, but for the company and its employees as well. And joining us to talk more about that is Cynthia Cifuentes, Vice President of Brand, Communications, and Community Engagement for Kaiser Permanente. Great to have you. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you so much, Deb. Um, what are some of the goals and, and benefits of engaging with the community, and why is it so important? As business leaders, it's definitely important because the more you give back and the more your workforce feels that they have an opportunity to give back, it's definitely a use in terms of how you can be a great retention tool. So it's important for employers to really offer that, especially coming from the pandemic, so that the employees can have the ability to make connections, be able to feel that they have meaning and purpose in what they do, and also how they can come together and team build and give back in their communities. Okay, I, I wanna talk in depth about community involvement, but before sure. we do, why is it so relevant right now and why is it so important right now? It's very relevant, especially as we come off in the pandemic, and actually I'll give you just an interesting article that's fresh off the press in New York Times that really shows all the interventions that really employers have made since we've come back um, from the pandemic, particularly around digital wellness solutions as well as um, resiliency training and coaching. And what they found is that the one notable um, investment that companies have made that really impact the mindfulness and well-being of an employer, or, or I should say of the workforce, is really volunteerism and community engagement and the ability to give back. And it just goes to show that, you know, the long time term in terms of one act of kindness really goes a really, really long way. And as we find now, especially with the social determinants, that the pandemic really ripped off the Band-Aid in terms of social disparities. And so people are really looking for much more um, compelling ways and meaningful ways to be able to feel engaged, feel connected with one another, but also have impact in the communities that they serve. And so I think it's a powerful tool for employers to use, again, to keep an engaged workforce. We know that there's presenteeism. We know we use the term quietly quitting. And so how do we keep an engaged workforce feeling like they, they're tied to something um, that they work for and also so that they can have the most optimum productivity? Let's talk about uh, some of those ways that a company can show that it really cares about its community. Let's dig a little deeper into this community involvement idea. What are some of the ways that a company can show that it's committed to community involvement? Sure, absolutely. So there's there's six critical ways in terms of, and I'll just touch on a couple, just in terms of how an employer can really look, whether you're a sole proprietor LLC or you're a, a large you know, CEO or a regional vice president leading um, you know, large companies and large individual contributors and or managers, but you know, first starts with potential of philanthropy. You know, finding ways that you can have charitable contributions or a match program within your uh, company is one way that you can definitely, you know, get involved. Um, another thing, another way is really partnering with your local nonprofits, your schools. We all know that there's backpack drives, there's food drives, um, there's lots of ways that you can give back, and it's also an opportunity for employers to really have a team building exercise. That's one thing that's been a best practice at Kaiser Permanente, as well as creating internal opportunities. So, what are some of the internal opportunities that? Um, you can do internally, whether they be diaper drives that you do within your jurisdiction or you're in your offices. Um, you know, Toys for Tots is one that happens often during the end of the year, during the holiday season, so you can give back to communities that are most vulnerable and need it the most. And then lastly but not least, um, really um, promoting good community health. And we have the saying in Kaiser Permanente that your health is really tied to your wealth. And so how do you promote good, good community health in terms of looking with in your most vulnerable populations and how can you help create resources and opportunity um, even through intellectual assets? So it doesn't necessarily require um, a funding or a sponsorship or, or it could be something where you are donating your assets and goods through your workforce through, let's just say, IT you know, offering IT services through that you might be an IT company and you want to help another nonprofit really stand up their IT department. So those are different ways that you can definitely get involved. Hmm. Okay. Well, getting started, as we know, is often the hardest part. Um, how can business leaders, uh, owners, managers, how can they begin to get involved with their communities? Well, I think it starts with the leaders. As they say, you know, culture eats strategy for lunch. So good health really starts from within. And good, you know, good purpose and meaning really starts from within. And I have a saying that, you know, filling your cup is every bit as important before you pour into others. And so, really, leaders have an opportunity to really enforce a, 
a culture of giving back and a culture of community within within themselves and how they institute that and and collaborate with other partners within the community and or identify key partners um, is really critical in in really driving just um, some of their workforce culture. And um, what would you say are some of the benefits uh, that come from these opportunities for employees uh, in order to help them to become better corporate citizens? Sure. Well, doing good is good for business, as we like to say, mm -hmm. and actually studies show that over 85% of consumers show a much more positive Im image of a company when they see that they go good, they give back to the community. A good brand, for instance, is Tom's Shoes. You know, that's one that really was became prolific from a brand perspective because they really had, they were a shoe brand, but they actually gave back to the communities that they served. So that is one that really helps reinforce not only the brand and being a good steward, but actually a good corporate citizen and a good corporate steward within, within society, which I think is very important as, especially as businesses are looking to grow and grow their business in much more meaningful ways in their constituencies. Um, how important uh, would you say community involvement and volunteering um, are um, as part of a company culture, if you will? I think they're incredibly important. I mean, as I shared, um, you know, uh, there's definitely research that really grounds us in terms of giving back and, and giving that, that, that sense of purpose for your workforce is, is a huge retention tool. Um, I think in in terms of what we're seeing in today's modern society with the pandemic really ripping the Band-Aid off and creating much more social disparities and just um, the communities that we serve, it's important for us to really uh, take, a, take, a, take a stance, if you will, um, and or a purpose, if you will, to, to help uh, address some of those. Um, we're seeing people that are having to make really critical decisions between you know, choosing to pay for diapers or, and or rent um, these are realities that um, the communities that we live in and exist in, and maybe some of our workforce are having to make every day. And so it's critically important that we just be mindful of that and everything that surrounds it. And um, I think people not only around you will appreciate it in the communities, but also the workforce as well. Yeah. Um, there are a lot of ways, obviously, to measure success, um, not all of them financial. Um, how does a company like Kaiser Permanente or even a much smaller organization demonstrate results? So I think there's a myriad of ways. I mean, there's definitely ways that we look within our HR metrics. Um, every organization usually looks at workforce engagement in a different way, um, usually through surveys and or um, feedback surveys in terms of seeing, you know, are their workforce, or do they feel really engaged? Do they feel that they have a, um, a meaningful purpose or are they valued at the table in terms of where they where they sit or where they lead um, and so I think those are definitely some oppor key opportunities that employers definitely can use to kind of have a pulse we call it actually pulse we call it people pulse mm. and it's a survey that's used across industries in terms of how you measure the workforce engagement and how engaged people really are within your company and so that's just one key example um, but surveys is, is really one critical example uh, in terms of uh, people you know feeling um, very uh, tied to their employer. Are those anonymous surveys or are they? They are anonymous, yeah. yes they are, okay. yes, absolutely. Um, we're talking about uh, you know all of these great ideas and community involvement. Um, can you give us some examples of how um, Kaiser Permanente models community involvement? Is there uh, something you sure. can tell us? Yeah. Absolutely, we have a robust volunteerism program that we have across our 10,000 employees that we stand up and we identify six signature events that we all can rally around. One would be, for instance, MLK Day, which is a day of service. So that is a day cele celebrating not only Martin Luther King's legacy, but also celebrating what he really positioned as the day of service for all of us to really make this world a better place. So mm -hmm. that's one um, that we as an organization get behind. And so what's really fascinating, if, if you can think about it, is across eight states, there's 250,000 employees all getting behind in terms of um, really contributing to uh, making the world a better, better place on MLK Day. So that's one that we do. Another facet of volunteerism is board service. So how, and we, meant, we talked a little bit about really leveraging your expertise and your intellectual asset. So what does that look like? Well, you could sit on a board. 
and how can you sit on a board of a nonprofit organization that really um, is aligned with not only your organizational priorities, but some of your own personal meaning and purpose. So um, the arts, for example, for me is near and dear to my heart. It, it's what I consider saved my life. So I sit on the board of, of an arts, a nonprofit performing arts organization. So those types of things are really important in terms of how you give back to the community, but how you can also share some of your expertise that you do with your organization, with the community at large, where they can benefit. Anything you want to add that we might have missed or um, anything you want to go back to or expand um, upon? I think if, if, if there's any notable thing that I could share, I think just really centering, um, you know, really centering your workforce really around employee engagement and community engagement has, the potential is exponential. And, and if we all kind of geared ourselves around that, I think not only would the benefits of your workforce really be impacted, the community at large would be impacted. And that's something that Kaiser Permanente is fundamentally grounded on. It's part of our mission to not only provide quality care and better health outcomes to our members, but it's the communities we serve. And so I think there's something powerful in that. Um, and there's something really compelling if all organizations really grounded themselves in that, in that regard. Great. And like you said, I mean, the time is now. It obviously yeah. is, uh, there's a huge payoff for, on both sides. On both sides, absolutely. Well, thanks so much. We appreciate you Thank being you. here. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Well, we've been speaking with Cynthia Cifuentes. And if you'd like more information, please visit kp.org slash lead boldly slash WTOP. Or you can go to WTOP.com and search Top Health. I'm Deborah Feinstein. Have a great day.